What up, YouTube? It's Huggles All Day, and we are back with some more Horizon Zero Dawn. What is up with you guys today? What is up, and how do you guys feel? Good news. Uh, I just got a uh, Outlast 2. So after I do this video and post it up already, I'm going to post Outlast 2 sometime later on today. So we're about to have some fun with that gameplay as well. Um, without further ado, let me just go ahead and get into it. It looks like we have to go hella far today. Well, not really actually far that far, actually. It's not too bad. But yeah, we got a couple of leaves and well, a couple of plants and flowers and some other stuff. There's a tall nigga over here and everything. I got vision on all over the place. But yeah, we're about to go ahead and have some fun. And uh, like always, I'm going to skip ahead just so I can go ahead and get in there. And uh, let's do it. I'll see you guys in a few. Peace. Let's go. See what's up in this area. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely it at the corner of this area. I actually want to know though, like what's going on with the entire game? Like, what's up with this little small ballista that we're on? Like, is this all there is? There the handholds. That we said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No. City name you got there. <laughs> Dude, who the hell is silent, Sarah? What, what, what is up with this guy? Oh, it's campfire. All right. What now? Can't wait. That's what. Take a seat at the campfire. Oh, okay. Rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah. Tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. <laughs> Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that. And the focus network will crash. So you were part of the eclipse. I've never been part of anything. I serve my and own what is that? always. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. We have more important things to do than ask questions. <laughs> Bruh, I want to ask questions. Like, I want to know what's going on. Ugh. <laughs> I know, right? I feel your frustration, Aloy. Yeah, it's right through here. A lot of corrupt looks. Held in reserve for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way. I didn't say it'd be easy. Alright, cool. Now I got vision actually. Oh, it doesn't look like there's any humans here, so. With anything, I can just smack the shit out of them all. <laughs> Auto attacks. Oh, just gotta be quick about it. Here we go. Let me if this is gonna be like an animated short, like that she doesn't have to do it herself. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm <laughs> and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. He has a... He has a power on button as his logo, bruh. 
so long since it was so hot to find a movie. Or even Sunfall, for that matter. Okay, so that's all the people that's here. Long neck is over that side. Okay. Let me get this headshot. And right there. Behind a wall. Haven't you got anything Blast better it. to do? Man down. Ah. Yeah. Get a dick. Yeah. Get a dick. Oh, right at you if you don't fight. Ah. Ah. Shadow my ass. Uh -uh. Mm, that dash baby. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's huh? Okay. Was. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. Sorry about that. Had to do something real quick. Don't have metal shards. Useless people. Supply crate. Okay. I don't see anybody else. But that means I'm gonna have to fight something because all these supply crates. You know how that goes, guys. You get a lot of stuff before you go to fight somebody, do something big. And medicine. Okay. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. This is shelter. So long as King Itaman languishes in Gunfall, a fanatic coddled by his mother, his only extravagance he will is never learn the true lessons of the sun. So you know it. Just enough I to have tried to him. I'm sorry, he's talking a lot. I didn't think they were going to talk during the entire thing. Yep. I'm make sure I got my stuff. Let's try that again. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. Yes, psycho did. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. 
Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Prophecy. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian in the hands of profligates. Debased. The spire towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligates slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa Isn't throne. that you? In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. No more like an instrument of sick. So many data points. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor. Determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. You're a sick butt, dude. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Talking about it. He was crazy, but she was like, I love you still. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Murdering people in innocence. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launched their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, some priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. These people are weird. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. Yeah, whatever, dude. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I tw 
trampled. Was I not the chosen of the sun? No, you're not. A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness. Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. Yeah, okay. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. Yeah, but still, you don't gotta act like you're the reason that there is a point for you. You're just making your own... He's a fanatic. Yeah, right? seriously. He's it gives him more focus than you seem to lack. Now how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down his path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. All right. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you. Let's hope. Jesus, I hope not. I see it. They built some kind of structure. Around. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. They really capture the long legs and put it somewhere in like this thing? Yo, seriously? So this is gonna be a fight after I'm done. Oh, it's that thingy again. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. Not the time. It's the metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Entity has come here. Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Okay, oh, hey, self-confirmed computer. Maybe you are, but this isn't. Well, is Hades? Destroy the entity. Right. Okay. It was that long, long neck. The fucking Hades, though. What? Oh my goodness gracious! What is that? Keep running. Yeah, there's no time for this. Let me just run. Okay, time to run. I'm gonna run, bug it, bug it, bug it, bug it, bug it, bug it. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? <laughs> Alright. Great trail. Ugh, you miss. Go ahead, girl. Stop slowing down to get it in. Killing while I'm not moving. That way I don't have to stop. No! You didn't jump on it! Right past it. Oh my god, now I can do it again. Alright, there we go. Let's do it again. Ouch. No way. Yeah, you think? I wish it was a faster way to get up and get down. It's like this this thing is forever.
Yeah, whatever. I don't got time for you guys. Come on. Towards the camp. Got it. Almost out of it. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Keep moving. Watch out, there's more ahead. Okay, I don't know I'm supposed to be going anymore. Ah, shit. I'm dead. Okay, I'm supposed to go around, I guess. Okay. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, man. In a pickle. Literally. Ah, so close to getting out of there, too. It's just... What? Really? I'm stuck in the wall. That's a bitch. I don't got time for y'all. Are you kidding me? Got it. Almost out of it. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Keep running. More clips across the ravine. Okay, so we're too. Okay, there it is. That's the way out. I know. Let me go. In the water, I'm okay. You're good. You're good, Aloy. You better keep it moving, girl. You don't got time for sitting down like that. A warrior. So I see Hades. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him. I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now. With the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's not for We'll speak again. You miserable. Oh my god, who Damn. is this guy? And what is his interest with freaking If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. So <coughs> and Excuse me. Let's see how far I am from there. That is right over here. Sunfall. And I'm right here. Okay. There's a cup here and a salt tooth. Ooh. And uh, dang it, I can't teleport to that one. Man, that blows. Well, at least I can teleport here and get there closer. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys later. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, actually, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, there's a lot of you know interesting things going on and whatnot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Now it's time to play some Outlast 2. And uh, let this export get on there. Cut it down a little bit. Make it less than an hour and 10 minutes like it is. Make it 30 minutes, 40 minutes almost. And then we're going to get to Outlast. Make it about 30 minutes. Try and get as much as we can in. And uh, I will see you guys later. Deuces.